think there's anything wrong with being, uh, you know, personally consuming it. It's the concern of the safety. It's the concern of my home is next door and I'm losing property value. Angela Wank was excited when she found out someone bought the house next door on Brookshire in West Bloomfield last spring. But she says no one ever moved in. Instead of furniture, Angela began noticing trucks seen here on their ring video unloading equipment to grow marijuana, like tubing, buckets, and lights. A couple months later, very strong odor outside of marijuana. People coming and going all hours of the day. Um, we also started just just becoming suspicious. All the basement uh, windows are all blocked off. This grow house was using so much electricity. Last August, Angela says it caused a brownout in the neighborhood. DTE came out, said they blew the meter. They had to replace it with a commercial grade meter. The DTE worker told Angela that this could have caused a huge fire. And look, her daughter's window just 20 feet away. And that's what really prompted the concern. That's what really started this whole motion of what are some of the laws? How can we change them to restrict some of these marijuana grow houses from being in subdivisions where children are living right next door? Angela claims she called West Bloomfield Police and the township, but all police will do is drive by slowly, never attempting to see if the homeowner is violating marijuana grow laws, which can be 12 plants or up to 72 for a licensed caregiver. We have not received any reports, but after talking to you, we launched an investigation and on Monday will be full force at that home attempting to determine whether illegal activity is occurring. Supervisor Steve Kaplan says back in 2018, the township board voted not to allow commercial marijuana businesses in West Bloomfield. But he says it has been challenging to regulate what happens inside someone's home. This is an extremely difficult matter to combat. We're not the only community that has illegal grow houses. And imagine if you live next door to one of these homes. Odor, traffic, you're concerned that the house will blow up or catch on fire. It also could affect property values. If you decide to sell your home, you have a duty to disclose to the buyer. That's why Kaplan says the township is considering passing an ordinance that would require anyone looking to grow marijuana to register with West Bloomfield. Let's say we have a registration requirement. We can inspect the home. If you're not residing there, you're not using power, then we, we don't allow, in other words, businesses and homes. So that might be the way for the township board to combat this problem. For Angela and her family, it couldn't come soon enough. And unless the city starts stepping up and actually trying to make a change, it's going to continue to get worse. In West Bloomfield, Taryn Asher, Fox 2 News.